Good morning, Springfield Face Center. I bring you to one of the places. I was gonna actually take you guys on a walk, but then it started raining. I'm tired of this rain. But welcome to your devotional for uh, today, Tuesday, May 19th. Um, today we're gonna be looking at 1 Thessalonians 5, uh, verses 16, 17, and 18. I wanted to talk to you guys about the idea of prayer. Uh, I brought you in my car because it's the other place other than when I take a walk where I spend a lot of time talking to God, where I spend a lot of time praying. And during this quarantine, during all of the stuff that's been going on, uh, I, I want to kind of reference the Pastor Steve's sermon. If you didn't see it, go check it out online. It's a great sermon. But during this storm, right, during all of these emotions and difficulties and stresses and difficult thoughts that we have, I feel like the one thing that God keeps bringing me back to, the one thing that he keeps challenging me to do during this time, almost above all else, is to pray. So in 1 Thessalonians 5, uh, starting in verse 16, it just says, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, and everything give thanks, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. I was thinking about the fact that during this time, it is one of the main things that we can do. There's a lot of things we can't do, right? All of the different things going on. The one of the things that we can do is pray. We can pray for ourselves, we all need that. I know what we do that often, but I wanted to challenge you to push it beyond just your own needs and to start praying for others. Um, I think that during this time, during this time of difficulties, um, when we're trying to find creative ways to get out there and help each other, that one of the easiest things we can do for each other is to pray. Pray for the people that you know that are having a hard time. Pray for the people that you know that might be, um, have, they've lost their jobs. Um, also pray for people who are doing well. I think it's okay to thank God for the fact that there are some of us who are doing okay. But I was also thinking about the fact that when we're in the midst of a storm, that the God wants us to remember who he is when we pray. Not just to pray for our needs, or even just for the needs of others, but to pray truth over what's happening. Um, I know that there's a lot of things going on. There's the pandemic that's going on. There's elections that are coming up. There's all sorts of things where everybody has tons of opinions. And I don't know about you, but for me, when I get to those places, I get fairly overwhelmed, overwhelmed with the potential lack of information. And trust me, I'm not asking for any of that right now. I get too much of it as is, right? But I get overwhelmed with information. I get overwhelmed with trying to make the right decision. And I feel like God is pushing me, like I said, back to prayer. We can pray for all of these situations that are happening. We can pray whether we agree or disagree, whether we are happy about it or not, whether we, whatever our, our own personal opinions are, we can pray that God will be involved, that God will step in, that God will speak to people, guide people, lead people. And I think that that's important. That's what God calls us to do, to pray for those around us, to pray for those who are going through tough calls, um, tough situations, and especially to pray for all of the people who are leading and guiding us. I know that Pastor Steve and Pastor Daniel would never uh, deny a request for prayer for them. We can pray for them as they're leading us through this time um, in our church, making a bunch of decisions that are really difficult right now. So I just want to call on you. Let's join together and do the one thing that we can all do together where you don't have to jump on a Zoom call. You don't have to sign up for anything. You can just, wherever you are right now, maybe you're in your car driving around. Maybe the weather's a little bit nicer on the day you're watching this and you can take a walk and just talk to God. Let's talk to God and ask him to just bless everything that's happening and to be involved in everyone's lives and to show himself where we know because he is the God of power. He is the God um, who owns a cattle on a thousand hills. All of those truths that we know. God can step in and take care of things and help us with things and bless us and provide when we need it. So let's join together and just pray together. I hope you have a wonderful day.